much we'll need, but let's pull. We already have most of them. So we need an empty plug to attach this tube onto the front of this gun, and then we'll go hook, and it should hold it nicely. Wrap the dental floss around when we're carrying your side. We want the front rigid box of dental floss, and we're going to want to attach our pencils onto the bottom of that. We're using the bit our floss tether isn't just hanging everywhere, it's well attached to our spool. And when we fire, we're not going to need most of the internal bits of our pen. Let's take those apart. We have some little ridges down inside them that help keep that tube of ink in just the right spot. We're going to use those on it, which clips nicely into the end piece of our marker cap. Let's start making the grappling hook. See it stain my saw blade orange. We've now got pull out plenty. Plus it's just fun to pull out floss. That should do it. With the glue cooled, we can leave the back cap in as just the front of our grappling hook. Mostly we're just, it comes off nicely. After we fire the grappling hook, we can really secure it in place. The body floss. rubber bands, three paper clips, and a box of with our three paper unravel quickly trailing behind our grappling hook. Let's use a hot glue gun to attach the tube with the ends to spool very easily. And now them onto the back of the pen. Let's use what the internet thinks that you should be watching next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you using our exacto knife. Back into the jaws of our clothespin jaws of the clothespin. We can fit our grappling hook down the barrel and we can see that. Let's move on to the next step and to do that it will pull the dental floss string after it which is just what we want it to do. Plastic tube and we're going to take that from the front part of the marker and then we want the back. Now because our now it's not going to have the same retracting abilities that something built by a billion and press the body of our spool down into the cap. This is what will hold it in place. But we also to attach our floss we're gonna be using that little collar that let's grab our mark that. I am just gonna try and pull the nib out here. We've still got a cartridge full of ink. In. You can see that once we attach that onto the pen, it will angle away from the pen body. And now we need to add off our excess rubber band here at the front and then all along the whole pen body or there won't be enough elasticity to restart by taking about the bottom quarter of our paper clip and getting a slight angle into it, something too. Well, adding grappling hook isn't going to be much good unless we can pull it back to us after it fits into. We now need to bend our three paper clips all nicely in place. Now, if we look, our bat would have, but inches or so, and trim it right there. Tap. I think it's quite the style of something Batman would use. So let's see if we can take a little, a little bit of hot glue and then some tape to secure them in place clips attached, our grappling hook is mostly ready to be used. If it doesn't look like you've got quite a so want to wind all of our floss around the spool, and it's going to be easier to do that before we attach it. Use this other piece of marker for This is going to be a spool that we can wrap. Part of the marker where it attaches onto the lid we've got and attach that onto the back of our hook. It's hard to know exactly how many you are need to check it out again, click up here at the top, this rubber band in place. We don't want to secure the rubber band. Three paper clips. For this grappling hook, it's two of them than the one. Most of the gun body is built, so it's time to test fire our gun lying around somewhere. We've got some electric to the clothespin. The two rubber bands really have a lot more strength and resistance kind of distance we're getting off of it. Let's in half. We don't need the whole cap, we only need about one centimeter of it, so let's mark that a second bend to make it more of a hook. And of our spool, that spot as well. Now let's cut along these lines of pen, but let's set it aside because we are also going to want the small plastic collar that the ink card front of that collar. The whole rubber band, there's not a lot of power when we pull it back into the clothespin. We need to cut off the end of our ha <laughs> Getting ourselves a Batman style grappling gun. And then press our spool down into it and it should be held. Bent into hook shape, so now we need to attach. Our little gun doesn't have any power yet, and that's what we're gonna be using. Let's bend our other two paper clips into 
just as a quick test, we can see that if we just pull this dental floss, it comes off the here, and then we'll cut the rest of the marker tube approximately. Load up our gun by open our floss later, but also because these boxes tend to have a floss all the way around our marker spool until our grappling hook is on a short leash. The hook is working pretty well, but I don't think pulling back the rubber band into the pull our rubber bands, I'm just gonna end up cutting right through. That's all right. Grab our pen and we can just take that piece of cost and easy to get your hands on and there's a good chance for laps with the lid of our container because we do still want to be able to open and close it. Hey guys, I'm Nate, welcome back to the workshop where today we're going to be building. Next, let's grab our Set these two pieces aside for the moment and move on to this piece. So this is going to be a sort of just trying to get the tube body of catch the cap portion sure that we leave an inch or two in the back. Let's begin winding our flo dental floss. Along with our electrical tape, we've also got a hot glue gun that we'll use for some of our attachments. We took off of the ink cartridge place. We can also trim off the extra. We can use either a razor blade or a hacksaw or something like that. In the tape, I want to make sure that none of it over the tape, a ballpoint pen that Batman would be proud to hang on his utility belt. The same shape as this one. Our three paper clips are and out the side tomorrow. The cap. So let's take this off and making a grappling hook to see what kind of there's the ink cartridge inside for our pen. Now by pressing down on the clothespin, our grappling hook should fire. So we're just to help guide our grappling hook to right where we want it to go. So if we look, wrap the floss back up and it's ready to go for another shot. Bottom partly because we want to be able to open. This is a pretty smooth surface, so be sure our glue sticks. Let's rough that up the floss and once again, have it cross over the cap and behind the marker. Trim off and then load the grappling hook in through that tube. Now we don't just want all of this Closely we can see that the ridges come all the way to the front on one side and don't quite reach the back on the other. With. The rubber bands are going to be attached onto the side of this front barrel. But we found as we're using our gun, and that's what we're going to use guiding barrel for our projectile, which is going to be our grappling hook. These markers have an old marker, two pencils, a clothespin, two wide thickness at the very front of our projectile gun. Once again, let's start by using a tiny bit of our hot glue onto the body of our dental floss container. And now with that piece extended sideways, we can fit this into the bottom of our hook. Let's pull out a length of the floss that enough to move it at all. So we want to tighten this up and we won't use the whole rubber band. We'll pull it. Nice. Well, looks like after it fired, we got to about a curved top, which is a lot harder to stably attach this point. Let's take a clothespin and add it onto the back of the pencils as a firing mechanism. Our grappling hook. And then when we fire the grappling hook, it will all whenever we need. That feels pretty over it with tape to really a hollow tube that we can see. It's a lot easier to make and it's still a lot of fun to play with. The supplies are local. That's barely our rubber bands for. Let's just cut one of our rubber bands in half to start before I start cutting in a bit of paint and tape and make this into something. We should be able to pop the body of our marker right off of the cap into a hook shape and attach them onto our pen. Fool mechanism. Let's just take the end of the piece of floss, lay it across the cap, and we can see that if we use our little grappling hook so that they'll grab onto things a little better. Did the way I've got it right now. We don't need any of the writing nib. First, let's take our two pencils and secure them together using our tape and marker. Click down there if you want to see. And there's a little bit of plastic housing down. This is how we can temporarily attach our floss onto our dental floss just flying around. Grappling hooked. We can now tuck here with our dental floss. Let's add another 18 inch. Now we want to use a small dab of hot glue and then plenty of tape to hold just the front of inside this tube, which of our little grappling hook launcher is starting to take shape and securely attached. Tight until we only have a very small loop, just big enough to fit our finger in, and we're going to attach that into the back of our grappling hook. First, let's feed our dental floss in through the right through. We have another piece of it inside the tube right here. So let's cut this off. 
right about here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video itself, let's now we just get enough angle into the hooks. You can still bend them a little bit farther. No. 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 No.